Hi, and welcome to Uni Cooking with me, TV's Hazel Lee. We are an instructional cooking programme for all you man children who have come to uni only knowing meals such as pasta and rice, ready noodles, rice and pasta, and egg. I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know so you can leave behind your mum's old dusty cookbook because you've not been doing your reading anyway, so why start now? Today, we're going to be cooking piri piri chicken and spicy rice. Let's take a look at the ingredients. You will need four chicken drumsticks or chicken thighs, two peppers of any color, I'm not bothered, I'm not prejudiced at all. But make sure they're completely de-seeded and infertile because we don't want any little pepper babies. You'll need one tablespoon of sunflower oil, six tablespoons of piri piri marinade, and half a bunch of spring onions. Now there's actually an interesting history behind the measurement bunch. In the 17th century, Mary Elizabeth Sue came home to find out that she'd forgotten to buy a vase to put her flowers in, and she knew that the house smelled of shit and if her husband came home and found out it would smell like shit, it would be her ass on the table, if you know what I mean. So, she picked up one of her husband's old boots from the fireplace, filled it with flowers, and it made the house smell lovely. When her husband, Sir Stanley Sue, came home and saw the bunch of flowers in his old boot, he said, my, that's a sad looking bunch of flowers. So, as for the measurements, we now fill a boot with spring onions, so we know the measurement, and that's how we've arrived at the term bunch. Fun fact. Luckily, I've already prepared my ingredients, so we won't be needing a boot here, and I can save my dignity. In addition, you'll need four tablespoons of tomato puree, one tablespoon of paprika, actually, fuck the I don't want it. Well, someone, come, someone come take it away, please. Thank you. And some spicy rice. Make sure it's spicy, unless you're a pussy and you don't want to get laid at uni. So am I just looking down while I did that? I'm just tearing. I'm gonna do my amazing method of cutting a pepper to make sure it's completely de-seeded. Right. And then you just want to chop that shit. Hope you're following along at home. Oh, get a close up of that. Prize for achievements in food. Um, unfortunately, the medal two years ago was tragically added into um, the ingredients for golden trout because it was deemed to not have enough shine and was consumed by a group of my closest friends. Get, 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 get a close up of that. I'm not 
going to do six tablespoons. I'm just going to go for it because that's the kind of chef that I am. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I've travelled the world as the third greatest cuisinist in the Northern Hemisphere, which means that I've tried lots of delicacies. Shark, white tar wolf, octopus, dolphin, cat, and obviously the domestic dog. Why domestic dog, you might ask, a little inhumane? Well, if you're ever in the company of great Lord Jonathan of the Eastern tribes, well, you're not exactly going to turn down one of his delicacies, are you? Plus, it's it's a fucking animal, it's gonna get eaten anyway. You may as well enjoy it with Great Lord Jonathan. about peppers if you look on the bottom if they've got three bottom bits that means that they're a male pepper and if they've got four bottom bits then that means they're a female pepper so you'll see that I've not used one in this one because they normally uh, need to be more de-seeded and then you know it's just more of a hassle because they're the ones that get pregnant so yes we use the the three bottomed one Get a close up of that. And now for the big reveal. If you've been following my tips, you should have ended up with a beautiful piri piri chicken and spicy rice, perfect for any student budget. Uh -huh. Just a little bit of rice. And there we have it! Come on everyone, dig in! Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This has been Uni Cooking with Hazel Lee. Oh, yes.